William Stanley Carpenter Jr. Football and lacrosse, class of 1960. Bill Carpenter played three seasons of varsity football and earned national acclaim as the Black Knight's lonely end when legendary coach Earl Red Blake unveiled his innovative offensive alignment in 1958. The team captain and a first team All-America choice in 1959, Carpenter graduated with an academy record 65 career receptions and became the first Army receiver to surpass 1,000 receiving yards in a career. He was inducted into the National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame in 1982. Carpenter also was a standout on the lacrosse field and a first team All-American in 1960 while also being a Schmeisser Memorial Cup honoree as the nation's top defenseman. Carpenter achieved the rank of Lieutenant General and was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. From the class of 1960, William Stanley Carpenter Jr., football and lacrosse. Ralph Joseph Chesnaskis, football, hockey, baseball, class of 1956. Ralph Chesnaskis won the prestigious Army Athletic Association Award following a stellar career that included nine varsity letters, three each in football, hockey, and baseball. On the gridiron, Chesnaskis was a guard who earned first team All-American honors in 1954 was selected to participate in the 1955 North-South Shrine Game and was a part of 18 victories for the Black Knights football team. He also shouldered kicking duties for the Black, Gold and Gray. Chesnaskis, who served as hockey team captain as a senior, netted seven points off of four goals and three assists and was part of 29 wins as a standout defenseman for Hall of Fame coach Jack Riley. And during his three-year baseball career, the Black Knights won 30 games, including a victory against Navy. From the class of 1956, Ralph Joseph Chesnaskis, football, hockey, baseball. Tracy Sue Hanlon, track and field, basketball, Class of 1984. Tracy Hanlon earned the prestigious Army Athletic Association trophy as a two-sport standout, participating in both indoor and outdoor track and field, as well as women's basketball. The record-setting Hanlon was a five-time All-American on the track, earning citations each of her four seasons, including two in her final campaign. She was the NAIA Outdoor Champion in the Long Jump in 1982 and still holds four Academy records in the pentathlon, heptathlon, javelin, and 100-meter hurdles. A team captain her senior season, Hanlon graduated as the school record holder in the 60-meter high hurdles. On the hardwood, Hanlon earned two varsity letters and set a single-game record with 32 points against Fordham her sophomore season. The mark currently lists as the school's eighth highest single-game total. From the class of 1984, Tracy Sue Hanlon, track and field, basketball. Michael William Krzyzewski, basketball, class of 1969. Mike Krzyzewski was the team captain his senior season and earned three varsity letters while helping the squad to a pair of trips to the prestigious National Invitational Tournament. He took over as head men's basketball coach in 1975 and posted a 73 and 59 mark during his five year tenure. Among his highlights on the sidelines at West Point was a trip to the NIT in 1978, Army's most recent berth in that event. Krzyzewski departed Army for the head coaching position at Duke in 1980, where he won three national championships and was enshrined into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame after winning his third. In addition, Coach K recently won his 800th career game and also led the U.S. Olympic men's basketball team to a gold medal in the 2008 Summer Olympic Games in Beijing. 
from the class of 1969, Michael William Shashevsky, basketball. Raymond Patrick Murphy, athletic director, football, basketball, lacrosse, class of 1942. Ray Murphy is being honored for his work as an administrator and as a nine-time varsity letter winner. He earned three letters each in football, basketball, and lacrosse, while also winning the prestigious Army Athletic Association Award. On Army's football team, Murphy served as team captain and started at guard on both sides of the ball. He helped the lacrosse team to a 23-6 mark, including three wins against Navy, and the men's basketball squad to a pair of wins against the midshipmen. Murphy was twice chosen to work as West Point's athletic director, first in the 1960s, where he was credited for hiring a young Bob Knight as basketball coach. His second tour as an administrator came in the late 70s. He also served five command campaigns in Vietnam before retiring as a major general in 1975. From the class of 1942, Raymond Patrick Murphy, athletic director, football, basketball, lacrosse. Nicole Ray Robbins, softball, class of 2002. Nikki Robbins is among the most recent graduates to earn Hall of Fame recognition. She was a three-time Patriot League Player of the Year, four-time Patriot League First Team All-Star, four-time First Team Mid-Atlantic Region All-Star, the 2002 Most Valuable Player of the Patriot League Tournament, and a two-time ECAC First Team All-Star. In 2001, Robbins led the country in doubles per game, listed sixth in batting, 21st in slugging percentage, and ranked as the 15th toughest player to strike out. She also was ranked nationally in batting and doubles per game her senior season. A two-time NCAA participant, she closed out her Army career first in home runs, total bases, hits, walks, batting average, runs batted in, doubles, games played, and at-bats, while ranking second in runs and triples. From the class of 2002, Nicole Ray Robbins, softball. John Lawrence Rust, lacrosse, class of 1949. Jack Rust was a four-year letter winner as a lacrosse goalie and earned three All-America citations during his career. A team co-captain as a senior, Rust led Army to a 32-11-1 mark during his four seasons in goal and participated in the 1949 North-South All-Star Game. He stands fifth all-time in saves with 491, was named a first-team All-American in 1948, and was a second-team choice in 1947 and again in 1949. Furthermore, Army's lacrosse program honors Rust annually by giving out an award in his name to each year's top defensive player. From the class of 1949, John Lawrence Rust, lacrosse. Thomas Truxton, lacrosse, soccer, class of 1937. Thomas Truxton was a three-time letter winner on both the men's soccer and lacrosse teams and also served as team captain of the lacrosse team his senior season. He was the lacrosse team's first three-time first-team All-American and helped the squad to a 24-3-1 mark, including two wins against arch-rival Navy. He also was a three-year starter for the soccer team and played on the plebe team in both sports. Truxton achieved the rank of lieutenant colonel before being killed in action in the Philippines in 1945. He was posthumously inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1970.
He was further honored by West Point and the Army Athletic Association with the naming of the Truxton Lacrosse Center, which houses the Army Lacrosse team's locker rooms, training facility, team room, and coaches' offices. From the class of 1937, Thomas Truxton, Lacrosse, Soccer.